Jay, yesterday you asked how I would react if somebody has like a fit of sneezes. Okay, so for one to two sneezes, I'll say bless you. Three to four, I start to usually feel a little awkward, so I say nothing. Five to six, I'm like, are you okay? Seven to nine, I drop what I'm doing and start to stare intently at them. Ten plus, I blow pepper in their face and scream, WE'RE GOING FOR THE RECORD! <laughs> So if you ever power watch shows, raise your hand. Power watch shows, I mean, whether you have Netflix or Hulu Plus or HBO Go or Xfinity or seasons on DVD, or if you meet all of those, and basically just tear through an entire show season by season in a short period of time. This activity has basically filled any unplanned time or time that there is nothing else good to be doing or it's like too late to be running the power tools. The main reason I think this has become such like a norm in my life is because I do have access to just all of these different venues in which I can watch just about any show all the way through. When I was in high school, I still did this, but I only ever had access to one show, and I just watched that one show over and over and over again. Scrubs. Yeah, I think I got my first season of the show for Christmas one year, and I'd never seen it before, but I started watching and just fell in love with it, and then of course my mom told my aunt, and then she just got it for me every year then after. So every year I would get a new season, and I would just periodically go through Scrubs over and over again. I also somehow had like a lot less free time when I was in high school, so I don't go through a show nearly as quickly as I do now. But by far my favorite episode of Scrubs is is season 5 episode 20 my lunch so if you have Netflix pause this video and go watch that episode right now pause Okay, I'm assuming you did great sewed, right? <laughs> also, does anyone else call it a sewed? If not, you can. I won't mind. But the reason why I bring this up is Zach Braff, who plays JD in Scrubs, has recently launched this Kickstarter project. If you watch SourceFed or The Philip DeFranco Show, you may already know this, but basically what he's trying to do is raise $2 million to essentially make an independent film that he essentially has final cut on. Ideally ensuring that the final product is what he intended to create in its purest form. And of course the reason why I'm making a video about this is because there's two general responses to this move, some positive and some negative. Some people are ecstatic about it, whether it be they were a huge fan of Scrubs or his first movie Garden State, or maybe they just like to see actors kind of branching out and producing these independent films films kind of in this method where you get to be a part of it and it's not like Hollywood's whittled down version of the movie. Then there are those people and they might just be trolls but they kind of have a point that are suggesting that like a TV star like this is taking advantage of his fame and kind of his fans in a way. Essentially asking for money to produce a project that will probably in the end become profitable to him. Like you pay to help make the movie then you still have to go pay to see the movie. And I suppose that's like not the worst point a troll has ever had but on the other hand there are tons of situations where there's been a show or a series or a movie series that got cut short for one reason or another but there was still that like big avid following that would love to see more. And I think I'm all for this even though I haven't personally contributed to any of these projects yet if Game of Thrones ever somehow gets cancelled you can bet your ass I'll be chipping in. But for my question of the day what do you guys think about the rich or the famous or both using Kickstarter as a mean for producing new projects? Also do you power watch shows or is it just me. Please tell me it's not just me. Leave it in the towel section down below and Jay that's all I've got for you today man. I'll see you on Monday.